Good morning, toy fans, and welcome back to another episode of the Saturday Toy Show. My name is Vader John's Toy Chest, aka John. Guys, the NEC is on its way. It is walking up the bloody corridor, is it not? Who's getting excited to get digging through those boxes at the NEC? Because I know I am. 100%. Who's going to go? I don't know, but the NEC, guys. It's my favourite toy show, and I can't wait for it to come. So, guys, what are we going to go through today? So, guys, I'm in a dilemma. I need to get some rid of some toys. I really do. And, unfortunately, as much as I love the films, and I do love the toys, I do love them, I think the Ghostbusters are going to go, guys. I think they are going to be sold so I can... Get some more bits to my other parts of my collections, guys. It's a, it's a sad day for Ecto-1. It really is. I don't want to do it. I really don't want to sell them. Um, but I can't see no other way because I am literally to the brim of toys. And where I've started collecting Resident Evil and Ray Harry Hooson's uh, monsters and all that, Something's got to go, guys. The Thundercats already went. I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm over that now. You know, the Thundercats are gone. It's just the way it is. I've still got my umbrella and all that. So, guys, to start off this week's show, let's see what I've got. So, I went sex, CX, sex, sex, CX, sex, sex, whatever you want to call it. I went there. And I didn't get too much, guys. I literally just picked out a couple of little pieces. That's for the Mega Drive Challenge, as I said I was going to do. So we're starting off, guys, with a couple of games. So like I said, I went to CEX. And I picked up this from a GameCube. It's called, what's it called? 18 Wheeler. Now, it looks pretty cool. I should have got. I should have took these stickers off really before the. Uh... I thought five pound guys, five pound for a game. I thought that's. Oh, I'll, I'll get that for later. But there you go, guys. It's the. Uh... It looks pretty cool. It looks like Optimus Prime now. I know it's not, but it looks like a, a good car game. So. Get behind the wheel of a 60 foot long, 20 ton, 80 wheel beast and buck it up as your hotel from New York to California and everywhere in between in the most intense joy ride of your life. Ten to four, good buddy, over and out. Well, what do you think of that? So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing that. Um, unfortunately, no booklet. I didn't know that until um, I left the shop. And guys, I also picked up this. It was only £8. £8. And again, unfortunately, I didn't realise, but it's Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2, guys. Absolutely awesome. I know for a fact I've not got that in my collection. So, again, you know, it's a good find. I, I, I wish I'd known they did have their booklets, but... I don't care, guys, because I'll tell you something, and I'm being honest in area. Think back to when you was a kid. When I first got my Mega Drive and my Sega Master System and my GameCubes and all that, I never bothered about the booklets. I was not one of these people that would sit there and read these booklets. Do you know what I mean? It's, it just wasn't my style. I just wanted to play games, guys. That's all I wanted to do was play the games. And... Um, you know, this is what I don't understand about today's youth. They, they, they'll sit there for hours watching someone else play GameCube. Uh, not GameCube, like, say, Minecraft, for instance. And I'll be like, what are you doing? They're going, oh, we're watching these play the game. When they've got the game, why don't you play it? Oh, yeah, but if I see how they do it, then I know how to do it. Doesn't that just take the fun out of the game? I, so, so, that's, that's what I said about Resident Evil, guys. Do you know what I mean? That, me and my brother loved that. We played it for hours and hours. Because, you know, it was fine. That's what that had been. That's got, it's, it's all about finding stuff, guys. Anyway. So, while I'm doing the games, let's. I know I wanted to do the Mega Drive Challenge at the end of the video. But 
at the moment, let's while it's sitting there, let's do the Mega Drive Challenge. So guys, Mega Drive Challenge, what have we got today? So, I managed to find da, 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 on eBay, the dreaded eBay, look. Wrestle War. Now, guys, do you remember last week's video? I had the booklet for Wrestle War, and this one hasn't got the booklet. So, happy days. Yeah, and I remember having this game. I remember playing this. It's, it's not the greatest game, but it's okay. It's okay. It's just, it's another Mega Drive game. And I got it for under £10. So, I got it in the challenge. So, happy days on that. Well, happy. Rest of all, welcome to the Mega Drive challenge. And welcome to my collection. So, guys, let's move on. What have we got next? So guys, we are going on to deliveries. What have we got? What has come through the post? Well, this has come. But I honestly don't know what was in it. I can't remember. Because all jokes aside, I haven't been buying a lot of stuff, guys, because of obvious reasons. But what I do is I, I you know I, I keep going through the toy groups. And I'll just see if any, any little things come up, do you know what I mean? So. Oh, it's a goodie box, it's a goodie box. Ah. Uh, ah, ha, 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 yes. I remember now. So. To start off with, we've got Prey. I think it's a good movie. He said it's a copy, but I'm going to be funny, guys. It's all online anyway, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So it's just good to have a copy of my Blu-ray collection. So that's Prey. Prey has arrived. What else? What else? What else have we got? What else? What else? What else? Shh. Don't interrupt me when I'm talking. <laughs> so let's have a look what this is. It's a giant Power Ranger bubble bath. <clears throat> That's pretty awesome. Wish it was the Blue Ranger, but or the White Ranger, more often. Probably the White Ranger, to be fair. That blue is my favourite colour. The White Ranger was always my favourite Power Ranger. Yeah, so that's pretty good. He said it's got a little bit of liquid in it. Oh, the arm moves, guys. Look, the arm moves. Yeah. Pretty cool. I think I'll keep him down in the damn way zone. So we've got a Power Ranger. The movie Prey. Ah. Yep. Now, guys, this is what... <laughs> Let's put the box down for a minute. I don't want to... I had loads of rock lords, guys. I had virtually every one. I tell you, the ones I didn't have. I didn't have the Rockosaurus, which was the great big one. I have got. I did put a video up on YouTube of my rock lord collection. Anyway, I didn't have Rockosaurus. I had all. I didn't have none of the little furry creatures. What well, I I can't remember what they're called now. But I didn't have none of them anyway. But I had, I had all the good guys, um, all the bad guys. The only one I didn't have was the female character of the Starhead. I didn't have that. But I, so I sold all my Rock Lords, guys. That, that was, they went ages ago. And that, that was another huge mistake. I wish I'd never done it. But anyway, I've still got the Rock Lord VHS video. And I, I just wanted two Rock Lords to go. So I can have one either side of it. And this one's come up. And it's Magma. And I remember there's a, there's a so I swear I liked about the rock rolls, they were so easy to transform. So this one here, as you know, just arms back there. 
legs up like that. And that is it. That is him changed. Transformers. I know it's not the song, but <laughs> and he just put his legs down again. Arms out. And that is it. Magma is ready to fight. And it's in pretty good condition. It's going to stand easy. That's what I was worried about. Because one of the mag um, rock claws I had, I mean, you can see his legs going a little bit now. But they, they, that was the only thing with the rock claws. I suppose it's the same for any toy, but the rock claws was pretty bad. The more you play them, the looser they got. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I've got magma. So I don't know if I'm going to go for boulder or granite, because granite was my favourite one. So I'll probably go for granite. Um, I'll, I'll find a loose granite just to stay on the other side of the video. So yes, Magma has joined the toy collection, guys. Again. And I do quote, again. Because it's not the first time I got rid of my rock claws. I got rid of them all. Bought them again. Got rid of them all. I'm not going to go down the line. I'm not going to get loads of rock claws again. I'm literally going to get one more rock claw just to go over the side of that video, guys. It's got to be done. So what else have we got in the box of goodies? I don't think there's... A... Oh, no, we have got something else. There is something else in there. There's two more pins in there. Woohee! <laughs> right, let's just make sure that is the only... Right, that's it. That's, that's the box done. So the, the main thing I pulled out for was from Magma. Now, this was in there as well. Obviously, it doesn't work. But it's the old Ronald McDonald. I think if, it, if I think if it was to work, I think the it's got no turner. Oh, it's, oh look, the arms go up a little bit, yeah. Very slowly. It's, it is very old. This is from the eighties, guys, as you well know. I have got another um, McDonald's toy on my eighties shelf, which I've taken down and shut you boring me now. <laughs> And then it's just one of these Star Wars, I don't know, some sort of statue thing. I had a few of them back in the day. They'll just go to a toy fair and probably give them to a little kid. But that's the kind of guy I am, guys. That is the kind of guy I am. Um, so, this video is going to go up in a couple of weeks' time. But this weekend we've got Cuffley. Uh, and I've also got... Duncan's Potter's Bar friend. Um, me and David Goodham and Matt are going to go. Uh, we are now becoming the awesome trio, as to say. <laughs> so really looking forward to that. Um, not all looking forward to walking around in my crutches again, guys. Because honestly, it is such a pain in the backside trying to get around a toy affair with crutches, honestly. Um, but, you know, it's got to be done. It's just the way it is. Ah, ah, ah. So, guys, something else has arrived. Now, this... I'm not sure I'm going to keep this. I, I did pick this up for the intention of someone else. But I think it's pretty cool. And it's a Walking Dead statue head. But, check it out. So that is pretty cool. You can see the Walking Dead there. Um, like I said, this was picked up for someone else. <laughs> um, I might be keeping it. I don't know. Um, I'll think about it. But that's the way I am. So like I said, guys, this weekend there's two toy affairs. By the time this video goes up, the toy affairs will have been finished. The toy affair videos will probably have been up. Because I'm not I'm just going to turn um, I'll tell you the truth guys, today is Thursday and I was meant to be going to a boot sale today um, but my wife showed, let's just say, a really disapproving look this morning and when I thought about it, I thought, well hold on, I've got those toy fairs this weekend I don't want to hurt my leg walking around the field up and down so, yes, so guys, enough of the boring talk of boot sales and all that and what's to come have you been up to anything, guys? Are you coming to the toy fairs? <laughs> or did you go to the toy fairs? It's so hard. I'm doing videos in advance. So I'm, events are coming up behind them. But yes, guys. So anyway, I want to show you my toy room quickly. Uh, not toy room, game room. It's coming along. 
It's not game room, it's a game corner. But guys, check this out. It's my little gaming corner, guys. It's getting there. There's my Wii games. Got Spider-Man on the GameCube on the go at the moment. There's my Pandora box. Got Mega Drive there. Not set up yet though. There's my boy's Xbox One. The Wii. Hey! Super Nintendo. Nintendo 64. Happy days. So guys, what did you think? As I, as I said, I, I can't get the Mega Drive up running yet because I need to get a special adapter. Um, the Wii's okay. Nintendo 64, I still I need to get an adapter for that as well, I think. I did have, an, uh, I bought an old TV and it sort of worked, guys, but the picture is really bad. I have spoke to the bloke in the shops and he's, he's, he's advised me to get the adapters and the pictures come through as if it was a PlayStation 4. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, but it's all going to take time. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this week's Saturday Toy Show. Don't forget, join my Facebook group with a chance to win some goodies, guys. It's going to be quite a good little package I'm going to put together, I believe. And um, whoever wins that, there's going to be 59 spaces to apply for. And I hope one of you loyal subscribers wins it. I really do. Guys, it's Fadish from Toy Chest. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.